French Beninese artist Dimitri Fagbouan works in his French studio. The sculptor lives and works between Paris, Brussels and Cotonou. He is one of the six artists from Africa and the diaspora whose pieces were showcased in the Cécile Fakouri Gallery in Paris. The French capital has become a stronghold for artists from the continent. It's indisputable that a growing number of galleries that are opening showcase African artists. We can undoubtedly say that more and more so-called historical galleries also represent those who are called African artists. But I think that this scene with 54 countries that make up Africa remains underrepresented. In one of Paris' posh neighborhoods, which is not far from the Champs-Élysées and the famous Triangle d'Or where the world's finest haute couture shops are based, Hushed conversations are accompanied by champagne. The diverse public doesn't need to travel to London and New York to see exhibitions with contemporary African artworks. Paris has always been multicultural, just as New York. From that point of view, yes, it is a second home. But because we are in Paris, I am inclined to tell you that we make Paris. We are part of this melting pot that makes things bounce back. It's an energy in which we also take part. It's not just inherent to the city, it's the results of the diversity of these cultural mixes and what they produce. Whenever Karol Nambele Gzavnevsky beholds African art pieces, she remembers the trying times when she first entered the business in 2010. The French and Cameroonian gallery owner wishes this renewed popularity will bring a long-lasting shift in mindsets. One can hope that contemporary art with African artists from the diaspora is not just a trend, and that these artists will find their place in the world of art on the global stage and will no longer be labelled as such. Quote-unquote, this is an African contemporary artist. It's an artist. Think about it. Do we ever say a European artist or an American artist? Paris has hosted African contemporary artists since the early 2000s. But according to art experts who spoke to the AFP, Brexit boosted Paris's financial attractiveness. The director of the also known as Africa Fair says famous galleries which weren't based in Paris now have offices in the city.